Hey y'all, what's going on? I'm back with another video. And today's video, this is going to be a very reflective type of video, introspective video. I'm going to be uh, taking some accountability here. And I just want to, um, you know, just just give a clear cut explanation for the obvious changes that some people might have noticed in the content and uh, the way I'm approaching some topics, you know, um, my opinions, things like that, right? There's been some changes in my life to the point where I feel like I went a little bit too radical. I became a little bit too politically motivated and too politically um, radicalized, right? And to the point where I was sacrificing everything I got in this to do, which is to tell my story and to help people relate to people, show people a light, show people that are maybe doing things that are not the best things that they don't have to do those things because, you know, I did some of those things and I'm doing positive things now. So I want to be a positive beacon. And through that pursuit, uh, I got into politics because there's a lot of injustice. There's a lot of um, oppression in our society, in our world. Right. So I wanted to do something about that. And getting into that, the internet kind of just fucking swallowed me whole. You know, the internet was telling me, no, you're doing this wrong and this is what's right. And, you know, I had a good heart and I wanted to do what's right. So, you know, I let them kind of fucking change my heart and I lost sight of what I was doing. I lost the humanity of it. And that's that's the danger of this online politics shit. Is it, it can become uh, depersonalized. It can become like to the point where it's just a battle. It's a team sport sort of fucking thing it's us versus them and that's not what i wanted to be about so i pulled back and i had to really look at myself and one of the things that i think i got really wrong is um blair white actually right so early on into my youtube career into my content maker career i got into it with blair we exchanged some words online and she uh privately messaged me on snapchat and you can see i have a playlist for all of that i have all the messages recorded and she said some things i took very personally now before this i was always a fan of blair white right i was always a fan of her and I, like i said i took it personally and i didn't even realize how personally i was taking it at first because i found people i found people like xander hall and vosh right and then I found out there's other people that have problems with Blair White. You know, I knew people in the trans community said shit. But I didn't know that there was like this whole big political argument and everything like that. So I started learning about all of that. And me being new to the trans community, new to uh, new to me and a lefty and all of that. I thought like, wow, holy shit. All Blair does is like point out the bad shit in the trans community and like these terrible people. She makes us look fucking terrible, right? And so I thought she was genuinely doing something fucking wrong. And I wanted to um, fight against that, push back against that. And so I did really fucking hard, right? Um, and then the trans community fucking praised me for it. The leftists praised me for it. They loved about me, right? So it was encouraged. But, you know, I would still have my own personal takes I would give on things. And when I would give a take that they wouldn't like, I, I'd be canceled, I'd be attacked and everything to a point where all these people that I thought, you know, really understood what I was doing and cared about the mission, they fucking left, you know, they all fucking left and I have nothing to show for it now. And I realized, you know, I was fucking bamboozled that these people, the fucking trans community, the, the online, you know, very extreme leftist community online that when you're saying the right things it's all love it's all fucking kindness they'll love bomb the shit out of you but if you say something that they don't like like that the greater community decides they're against they'll fucking throw you under the bus and act like you never fucking advocated for utter shit that they cared about and that's really fucked up and so when this happened to me and i'm like well, you know, I'm trying to find my people. I'm trying to grow my fucking community, grow my my channel, and, like, really find people that hit home with me, that resonate with the content that I'm making. And I had this big crisis about it. And I got introspective, and I started to think more. And then I started to step back and say, these people are fucking crazy. That I agree with a lot of the morals and the changes they want to see, the problems with society, but they go about it in, like, a way that's not going to fucking work. They don't go, they don't treat Republicans or even centrists and liberals like they're fucking people. They treat them like they're fucking objects. They're in the way. And one one of the good um, examples of this is Joe Rogan. Now, I never knew a lot about fucking Joe Rogan. I knew he was on fucking Fear Factor and I knew 
Um, he does commentary for MMA and shit. He's got a really good roundhouse kick. <laughs> you know, um, but I just heard, you know, he's this fucking idiot. He spreads lies. Yeah, he's a biggie. He's fucking transphobic. Homophobic. So, you know, so I just assumed that what these people were telling me was true. It was legitimate. And it wasn't so fucking legitimate, you know? When I actually put on a Joe Rogan podcast from myself, I'm, these people calling Joe an idiot. That's a fucking wise man right there. Every time I watch Joe Rogan, I get fucking dimes. That man drops dimes. And then on top of that, he has some of the most accomplished people in their fields that come on there. So someone like me who's working really hard trying to be something, trying to build a fucking career. I, I feel so grateful to have found that podcast and to be able to get all this information from these people. I know people think it sounds fucking stupid, right? You found the pod, it's the biggest fucking podcast in the world. Yeah, but I never fucking touched it because the way that fucking leftists and like trans people and shit would talk about it. This fucking lies. And you know what it is? It's because sometimes he says some fucking ignorant shit that is like transphobic admittedly, right? But fucking, that doesn't change the whole deal. But if you're one of these fucking radical motherfuckers on the internet, oh, you're just a fucking Nazi. You're a bigot at that point. And we can't deal with this. We, we stopped having conversations at some point as a society. And we need to have conversations again. Anyways, back to get on point. So, motherfucking Blair White goes on Joe Rogan, right? And I watch it, right? And I see that I, I fucking did this with Blair, right? I was treating Blair like how all these other people treat these people. And with me, it was a lot of personal shit. I felt personally harmed by a person that, like, I watched, you know, in the closet for years, right? And she said some shit that honestly fucking got her in my nerves. I fucking hurt my feelings, right? And so I took a lot of it personally. And then in that podcast, uh, you know, she talks about mental health, dealing with the pandemic, uh, the crazy bullshit in L.A. and how she was going to move to Austin. And she talks about how um, she did a fucking DMT trip, ate a fucking plate of mushrooms, and, you know, and somewhere in the woods and shit. I was like, yo, you know what? Is this, she might have more than meets the eye. And then from all this shit I've dealt with the trans community, I started to have, you know, more clear vision, you know, not being so fucking in it. And I'm seeing like, oh, my God. God, a lot of these fucking people and some of the loudest voices are some of the worst fucking actors in this community. And the way the community operates in general is like a fucking cult. These people are fucking crazy. I understand that Blair being in the shit for a while, right? She she understands all this more than me. And so I, I understand what she do. All this do need to be fucking called out. Because the reality is that she's not making us look bad. Like the fucking trans community is doing that on their own. We need fucking because the mo let me tell you, the trans community sucks, but trans people are cool all the trans people i've known personally in real life they don't know one fucking thing about they don't know who blair white is they don't know calvin fucking gar you know they're just people and they're fucking chill right but all these trans people are online they're not fucking people they're fucking insane they're fucking out of their goddamn mind you know and it, it sucks it took me so long to notice this but God damn, I was more anxious, more fucked up about the world, more stressful. They may, when you fucking you're radicalized like that, they make you think that like your life is in constant danger or some shit. And you know, my past and my trauma and everything I was going through, that's the fucking last thing I needed. It just all combined to just create a big fucking mental health mess. But yeah, anyways, I just want to own up to shit, say that I'm fucking wrong about Blair White. Um, I actually appreciate what she does now, and there's gonna be a lot of changes in my content going forward. As just to clarify what my political linings are, um, I'm I still lean to the left. I consider myself more of a centrist, more of an open thinker. You know, it's what I always was. And they, they told me, oh, oh, open mind, open thinker. That's fucking you know, this is dumb. No one's an open thinker. It's, shut the fuck up. You you're not an open thinker, and you could never you can never imagine how someone fucking could be because you don't have a fucking personality. That's why you gotta stick to the cult and anyone that divulges, y'all gonna fucking throw them under the bus. Anyways, peace out, bitches. Have a good one. Oh, 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 I know, ho. Life is hard, you gotta grow, ho. I'm a show, ho, that I got hard, hard. Really, the 
deserve this shit I'm on target like a darn heart Knew it from the star heart I played it fucking smart heart Whoa, you be telling lying highs No up in this life if he do or die high. So I'm not gonna fail Know that I'ma prevail when I try high I don't give a fuck, I can't fucking die high Fuck you stupid bitch, I heard you telling lying highs Seen through that shit, yeah I seen it couple times I ain't fucking lacking, keep my tool up by my side high I'ma up it if I see suspicion, I can't die high Gotta fucking fly high, know that I'ma survive high Grit up in my eye highs, you know I'ma shine high Fuck you stupid bitch, you try to hold me down You don't hear them loud sounds, if you ever come around Please don't tell a lies on my motherfucking name They be acting strange, why they wanna be so lame I can't hang, you get cut off, yeah, no I'm not the same Not the same kid that I grew up with Nah, nah, you can't come around for no more fucking favors I'ma fucking run it up till I get that paper Fuck you fucking hater, see you, see you later Put a ice up on my shits, icier than a skater Huh, 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 whoa, huh Trauma in my eyes, trauma in my past I don't wanna die high, super suicide high Gotta, gotta try high, fuck you stupid bitch Yeah, you told me all these lie highs <laughs> Told me all these lie highs, messed up my mind high I'm not doing fine high, I'ma run it up high. I could never get no fuck high, trauma deep inside high Yeah, it's do or die high